Here's an example of how to create a beautiful progress bar in Excel. We will use only standard data visualization tools and Excel formulas for implementation. Additionally, we will add some Excel shapes for stylish background design. First, create a table with the source data for the chart. After the row header, the first column contains a spacer for design purposes. It serves only an aesthetic function. The second column contains the source values. The third column is another spacer for visual appearance. Finally, the fourth column contains a formula to calculate the remainder from 100% after subtracting the progress bar's fill percentage. We also need formulas for data labels, using logical functions. If the progress bar is more than halfway filled, the label color will change. The chart background is dark, and the progress bar is brightly colored. The label text on the progress bar should be readable and clearly visible against both dark and bright backgrounds. For this, we will use a logical formula to change the label text color. How will we do this in Excel without macros? Let's see. Now, select the table range from a 3 to C5 and create a horizontal bar chart. First, use the switch row column button on the chart. Then enable the reverse option for the Y-axis to ensure the top bar in the chart corresponds to the first column of the source table. On a separate sheet, create a rounded rectangle shape. Set the shape's height and width, and apply gradient fill to the background and border.
We need another rounded rectangle, but this time maximize the corner rounding. Set the color and create an inner shadow effect. Adjust the inner shadow depth by changing the blur parameter to approximately 17 points. This will design the fill area of the progress bar in the background. Align all shapes horizontally. Move the bar chart template to the new sheet and overlay it on the shapes. Resize, make the background transparent, and remove all unnecessary objects and labels from the chart, leaving only the bar stripes. It's time to use the spacers for design purposes. Create a semicircle shape for each spacer. Rotate the left spacer semicircles 180 degrees and flip vertically. Each semicircle should have its own color. Copy the semicircle shape, then select only one spacer in a bar stripe on the chart and use the CRLV shortcut to paste the shape as the background fill of the spacer on the chart. Repeat this for all six spacers on the three bar stripes of the chart template. Make the final portion of the bar stripes transparent. Fill the main portion of the progress bar with gradient fill so that the colors at the start and end match the colors of the semicircle shapes in the spacers. You do this for all three progress bar stripes.
temporarily hide the progress bar template and copy the background shape with the inner shadow. Make the progress bar template visible again and position the new background shapes evenly under each stripe. In the data table, change all three source values to the maximum 100% to align the positions and sizes of the progress bar template with the background design. Create three text box objects for the progress bar data labels. For each text box, link it to the cells in the first column with the logical label formulas. Align the labels and copy them. In the copies, create links to the second column of label formulas. The first three text boxes should have dark text, and the new three should have light text and be placed on top of the first objects. Now, if the background under the labels is dark, they will have light text, and if the background is bright, the labels will have dark text for better readability. Create a mini database table to test the chart's interactive capabilities for filling the progress bar. In the first column, list the days of the week, followed by three columns with the row headers from the chart's source table. Simply copy and transpose them using Excel's special paste. Fill the table with random values up to 100% using the rand between function divided by 100. Sort each column in ascending order and apply a percentage format to the cells. Based on the mini database table, create a pivot table and place it in cell A10, linking to it in the creation parameter. In the pivot table designer, specify the day in the row field and include the remaining columns, which will automatically populate the values field. Based on the pivot table, create a slicer. We will use it as a control element for filling the progress bar interactively.
in the slicer styles, create a new button design template by duplicating and stylishly modifying its appearance in the settings. for each final value in the pivot table. Set the field parameters to average use the get pivot data function to link the chart's source table to the pivot table, which is controlled by the slicer as a filter. Move the slicer buttons and control the progress bar with them. Fix a small bug in the labels. Add the text function to the logical formula arguments to convert values from numeric to percentage format. Test the progress bar's functionality under slicer control. As you can see, you can create interesting progress bar designs with interactive features in Excel without macros. Standard tools, formulas, pivot tables, and a little imagination are all you need.